Ah, it looks like all our problems are solved. Welcome to the Jade Chamber. Oh, great. <laughs> I have no idea what we would have done otherwise. I didn't think we'd really manage to get you here. This was a last-minute situation, and you're the one we trust the most. To put it simply, we are just looking for the right person to help. We had a very long discussion about it, but to no avail. I have tasked my three most trusted secretaries with overseeing an important auction tomorrow. This, however, leaves their regular duties unattended to, and the work cannot afford to go undone. The nature of their day-to-day -day work is highly sensitive and confidential, so whomever I ask to fill in needs to be someone I can trust, and who doesn't have a conflict of interest. Yes, you were the person who came to mind. We may not have spent a great deal of time together, but I do place a great deal of trust in you. To me, this work is highly sensitive and of utmost importance, though I'm sure you'll find it to be mundane at best. It would not surprise me if you can't bear the tedium or can't make the time. And yet, despite this, I thought it could do no harm to ask the question, on the off chance that you are interested. As it happens, I was just having a discussion on backup plans with my secretaries before you arrived. But the outcome of that discussion was that we couldn't think of a suitable alternative. This is a good reminder that we should always have a contingency plan for everything. Anyway, this may add to the debt of gratitude I owe you. But the fact is, your arrival here has rescued what was fast becoming a rather dire situation indeed. I wouldn't worry. It's all work you'll be quite familiar with. Planning trips, gathering pertinent information, that sort of thing. All basic skills required by competent adventurers, if I'm not mistaken. If you have any questions about your work, I will answer them shortly. The administrative work Lady Ningguang touched upon just now is only one aspect. You'll also be required to cater for Lady Ningguang's basic daily needs, such as clothing and meals, and be on call for any other requests she may have. Don't be mistaken. I won't put you in a difficult position and I will fully respect your judgment. All right, please proceed to the office. Baisha will go over the work with you in more detail. Yes, Lady Ningguang. Okay, let's go. Before I get into specifics, I want to start by giving you the big picture. As a member of the Liyue Qixing, Lady Ningguang's every move is in the spotlight. Maintaining her perfect image at all times is absolutely essential. My usual job is to be her right hand, to maintain her image, and take care of all her worries. For example, arranging her daily schedule, picking out clothes for her, dressing her, applying her perfume. <clears throat> you misunderstand me. I am simply trying to impress upon you the sheer importance of the work you will be undertaking. Baisha has always been very passionate about her work. I can leave any task in her capable hands, and rest assured that her performance will be nothing short of exemplary. I'm sure she was simply trying to share some of her enthusiasm, in the hopes that you may find it infectious. 
Thank you, Lady Ningguang. Back to the topic at hand. Let's get into the details. Bai Xiao and Bai Wen handle tasks that require enormous experience, while I'm mainly responsible for organizing her daily schedule and making sure she is well-fed, dressed for any occasion, and that all her needs are met. I can go through the methods I use and give you some pointers based on my experience to ensure that you are fully equipped to perform your duties. All in a day's work for the Traveler, hmm? Great, then I'll skip that and just get to the handover of duties. Currently, there are 133 items that have yet to be scheduled, 17 of which are high importance and... Yes, I did try to make a start in advance, but only got as far as roughly prioritizing the tasks before I ran out of time. I'll go through the most important items with you in more detail. If there's anything you don't understand, feel free to stop me with questions at any point. First is the periodic meeting with the representatives of the eight trades. After that, fielding opinions on revisions to the current tax legislation. Then, a discussion with Lady Kuching on issues relating to time restrictions on land conveyance deals. Following that, there's a Q&A session with all the major commerce guilds. Right after that, there's... Yes, you do. To the uninitiated, scheduling may sound like a simple process of matching tasks to time slots, but there is actually far more to it than that. You need to take travel time into account, along with a whole spectrum of potential issues that can arise. Ample knowledge of all outside factors that may weigh upon your plan A is essential to devise a workable contingency plan. I assume this is all making sense. Unless you had any other questions at this point? Good. Then let's press on. We're tight on time here, and there's a lot to get through. And we still need to leave enough time for you to prepare Lady Ningguang's schedule. Already? Wow. You're a fast learner. Very good. This will be much more efficient. Wonderful. Then I'll be counting on you to provide my schedule for tomorrow. I'm grateful for your assistance. Now, I will leave you here in peace to proceed with your work. I still have a few items from today's schedules that need addressing. If anything else is unclear, you can ask by sure. Take care, Lady Ningguang. Good. You factored in both priority and efficiency and produced a rigorous and well-structured schedule. You've clearly considered it from every angle. Excellent work. You've got quite a knack for this. Please be here at the Jade Chamber tomorrow morning before Lady Ningguang wakes up and start preparing based on the schedule. With you helping out here, we will be able to focus fully on the auction. It will be quite a complicated affair. I hope so too. You must be exhausted. Make sure you get an early night tonight.
Yes, I'm already awake. I'll be out in a moment. I'm just changing. Good morning. Did you sleep well? That's good. I was worried you'd be a little uncomfortable. Now then, the schedule. Let's see what you have for me today. Item 1. Lunch at Leo Lee Pavilion with Mesua Chiao. Ah, yes. I remember the invitation. I need to make sure I'm well prepared for this. No, someone I've never met before. Today's lunch will be our first time meeting each other. <laughs> She's paying a high price for my time, and I intend to make sure she gets her money's worth. Otherwise, tens of millions of Mora is rather a high price for lunch, even one at Leoli Pavilion, wouldn't you say? That's right. Even at this price, there is no shortage of people willing to pay for a lunch opportunity with me. To be clear, I've never had any hand in setting the price. I too was rather surprised to see it become so expensive. Time is very valuable to me, so when I first came up with the idea, I made a rule that my time would go to the highest bidder. Gradually, it developed into a lucrative business. Yes, that sums it up very well. Most people looking to buy my time are business people who believe that whatever they spend now, they will make back several times over in due course. Naturally, for anyone looking to make a profit in a complex market, the bottom line is having the requisite experience and expertise. All I can do for them is share whatever insight I may have. As for how much my insight is worth in terms of Mora, Everyone has their own idea. There is no standardized way to measure something like this. You're a very lucky person, you know. You get to sit in on this lunch for free. In the hands of a professional business person, the kind of information you'll be exposed to would be worth, well, tens of millions of mora. There's no need to be nervous, of course. Now, let's have some breakfast before we leave. <laughs> Did you organize this entire breakfast? Uh-huh. I know what's going on, then. Please, sit. Have a taste of the Jade Chamber's chef's cooking. This kind of food tastes far less satisfying if left out for too long. What do you think? Is the food to your liking? Oh. <laughs> Don't forget we have a lunch later. Save some space, or you might miss out on some even better food. Still, I'm happy to see that you approve of my culinary tastes. On occasion, usually everyone is too busy for a leisurely sit-down meal. There is an awful lot to get done most of the time. Breakfast also isn't usually so lavish, hence my surprise when we got here. I actually thought you had cooked it all yourself. Relax, I'm just joking. But I sure probably made arrangements yesterday to add a few extra dishes to the breakfast menu. You willingly took this work on, knowing that it would be tedious, and you have worked diligently. My secretaries and I are very grateful to you. 
Treating you to some food is but a small token of our appreciation. Breakfast sets the tone for the rest of the day. You can't compromise on it. If you wake up to the same monotonous meal each day, you will start to feel fatigued even before you start working. Well, I'm done eating. We should get ready, then head off to Leoli Pavilion. I have some preparations to make first. Could you bring my clothes to my room, please? I need a change of mood, and a change of clothes will facilitate that. Who knows? Perhaps you will have a completely different impression of me after I change outfits. I already instructed Long Yang to have my outfit ready. You can fetch it from her. Thank you. I'll be in my room. Hello, how may I help? Ah, yes, of course. Please wait a moment. I'll go and get them. Here you are. Please give this to Lady Ningguang. Yes, this whole room is full of Lady Ningguang's personal items. Not just clothes, either. There are all kinds of jewelry and ornaments. Lady Ningguang asked us to rearrange this room recently. We're currently right in the middle of that, so everything's in a bit of a mess. That's why it took me a little time to find this for you. <laughs> anyway, you can take it now. Thanks for coming to pick it up. Did you get it? Ah. This is the one. Please, wait for a moment. I had this specially tailored recently, and I must say, I'm really rather fond of it. What do you think? Be honest. I just want to know your first impression. Phew. <laughs> Thank you. I was actually a little nervous. Knowing that it has your seal of approval makes me feel much more self-confident. If you're second-guessing how you look, you can forget about looking glamorous. Even the finest garments in the world would look out of place on you. That's why your affirmation matters so much to me. All right, let's head to Leoli Pavilion. Sorry to have kept you waiting. 
no, no, not at all. I know that you have a thousand different things to do each day. I'm very grateful for any amount of time you can spare from me. Great. Well, let's leave the formalities aside from now on and make this just a friendly chat. This is the Traveler. I'm assuming you've heard of him. He happened to be in Leoa Harbor today, so I invited him to come along. It's a rare opportunity to dine with him, too. Do you mind if he sits with us? No, not at all. On the contrary, I'm honored. What a surprise to be dining with the illustrious Traveler, too! I've always been fascinated by you and your adventures. There's so many questions I'd love to ask you. Oh, I'm sorry. Where are my manners? I forgot to introduce myself. Look at me, getting all overexcited. I'm Luo Qiao, a businesswoman. I work mostly in the textile business, but recently I've been considering branching out into some other markets. That's what I wanted to ask Lady Ning Guang for some advice about. I didn't know there'd be a surprise guest involved, too. <laughs> so, the rumors are true, then. Rumors? About what, exactly? You know... The rumors about the two of you... Lady Ningguang and the Traveler... Having a... a Closer-than-average relationship. You... Haven't heard? Come on, you must know that Lady Ningguang's every move is in the spotlight. That obviously includes her relationships. And if you didn't have some sort of special relationship, why would she invite you to this lunch right after finding out that you were back in Liyue Harbor? <laughs> Interesting. Yes, we do have a special relationship, but I don't see anything unusual about it. The Traveler is a national hero in Liyue whose actions have directly contributed toward the prosperity we enjoy today. Even putting aside my official status as one of the Liyue Qixing, I admire him on a personal level too. Oh, yes. Well, there is nothing unusual about it at all. I was just observing that Lady Ningguang now seems to have a second interesting character in her innermost circle. The first one being the captain. You're comparing apples and sunsetias there. Whenever Beido returns to Liyue Harbor, all she brings me is a headache. I've missed out on a number of extremely promising investment opportunities thanks to her. In fact, the timing is always so suspiciously coincidental, I can't help but wonder if she's doing it on purpose. Investment opportunities? Oh, do you mean the luminescent spying business? I hear that's been all the rage recently. No, something else. All the talk about luminescent spines is just empty hype. Oh, but isn't there some new technology from Fontaine that needs lots of luminescent spines to make it work? If it were really that profitable, those in the know would have kept it as quiet as possible. You have to wonder, if the news is spreading like wildfire, who's fanning the flames? I had my secretary do some analysis. The current price of luminescent spines far exceeds the profits that could be made on the end product. So I would advise you to be cautious. I see. Well, 
I was planning to get your opinion on how to get started in that business. In my opinion, there are many people around with ulterior motives, making this a very risky business to enter into in the short term. Long term, it's very difficult to say, but I believe there's too much uncertainty to make it worth your investment. You worked hard to earn every more you own, and you should be just as careful spending it as you were making it. You think so too, huh? Okay, got it. If that's what both of you think, I'll take my time and not rush into anything. Maybe it'd be a better choice to invest this money into an industry that I'm genuinely interested in getting involved with. Lady Ningguang, thank you so much for taking the time to meet with me today. I didn't know how much we'd get through, but you've answered every question I wanted to ask. Good. I'm glad I could be of some help. Now I see why you were able to become the most successful business person in Liyue Harbor. You think clearly. You are very knowledgeable, and you keep yourself well informed. <laughs> it would take me a very long time to come anywhere close to your level. You've been listening for a while. Are you getting bored? Has it sparked an interest in the business world for you? Ah. So you want to be my competitor. Well then, I suppose I'll have to start looking over my shoulder. Or how about this? I'll invest in you early on, before you make it big. I won't take up any more of your time. Thank you. This lunch was everything I was hoping for and more. I can't wait to try out everything I've learned. See you next time. I'll look forward to hearing good news from you soon. Right then. Lunch is over. I assume you have something planned next? Although... I'm a little concerned about the auction. I wonder how my secretarial trio is getting along. Yes, you're right. Whatever happens, they can handle it. In that case, what's next on the schedule? Ah, okay then. Yes, it's been some time since I last caught up with them. Let's go to Mingxing Jewelry first. I need to pick up something before meeting them. Hello. I'm here to collect the item I handed in for repair. 
Ah, Lady Ningguang. One moment, please. I'll fetch it immediately. Very good. Don't rush now. Please, handle it with care. Hmm. Yes and no. You probably imagine that Mingxing jewelry deals exclusively in expensive luxury goods. The workers here are very skilled, so I like to come to them when I need something custom made. This time, though, I just had them do a simple repair. The item is quite ordinary. In fact, the cost of the repair was more than the item was ever worth. Lady Ningguang, your comb has been fixed. Please inspect it and see whether you're satisfied with our work. We did everything we could to restore it to its original condition. You'll still see a few marks on there, though. This was unavoidable because of how badly damaged the item was. That's fine. Thank you for your hard work. Yes, though it is something very precious to one of my informants. It reminds her of her mother. My informants often provide me with extremely important information. It's only fair that I endeavor to meet any requests they have in return. Trust is of far greater importance than profit in the relationship between me and my informants. It's understandable to think that way, and in the vast majority of cases, you'd be completely right. But things are a little different with these particular informants. Mora doesn't get you very far with this crowd. And this only makes me all the more excited to meet with them. Thank you for the repair, Xingqi. This is a great help. Oh, don't mention it. It's always a pleasure, Lady Ningguang. Let's go and meet them. Hello, my dears. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Yes, indeed. And they are some of my most reliable helpers and friends. I didn't want to involve them in intelligence gathering for me at first, but they, on the other hand, were so enthusiastic about the idea that I thought it couldn't hurt to try. I treated it as a little game between us. It turned out that they delivered the goods and thoroughly enjoyed themselves while they were at it. So, it was a win-win. So, fill me in. How have you all been doing? Great! Mom and Dad have taken me on loads of cool trips recently. It's been loads of fun. But you didn't do your homework, did you? Yeah, but it's not my fault. You still gotta try. Like teacher says, Liyue Harbor is in a new age now, and we've got a really important part to play. This new age started after that great battle, you know. Well, this is a dramatic change, unique in all of the millennia of Leo's history. Everyone is eager to do their part and make their mark in the age of humanity. What about you, Nan Nan? 
You haven't said anything yet, and you're looking a little unhappy. Uh, uh, I'm fine. Um, just don't know what to say. Oh yeah, I just remembered. A load of really big boats came into the harbor the day before yesterday. Yeah, that's right. All the merchants were there, and it was really noisy. And then the people on the boat started unloading all these crates. There was a salty kind of fishy smell in the air. Ugh. Oh, I see. That'll be the fishing boats coming back from the open ocean. How much cargo were they carrying? Remember, I taught you how you can tell. Yep. I made sure to look at the waterline, just like you said. They looked really full this time. My goodness. Well, it sounds like they made quite a big catch. The heavier the boat, the lower the hull sits in the water. So you can tell how heavily loaded a vessel is from the height of the waterline. How deep a fully loaded vessel will sit in the water varies from ship to ship, but it's something you can tell from experience, at least for the kinds of vessels you see regularly. <laughs> Since Auntie Ningguang taught me how to do it, I can tell with just one look. Um, a few days ago, um, I... I heard some people saying that a big merchant from Fontaine is coming soon to buy luminescent spines. They said that when they get here, the price will go up a lot. Oh, really? Who did you hear this from? Do you remember what they looked like? Um, mm, no, I don't remember. All right, never mind. So, how about what they said? Do you remember their exact words? Um, uh, um, oh, I don't remember that either. Sorry. Are you okay? You're usually the one that talks the most. What's gotten into you today? It's okay. Don't be upset. Actually, I brought you a little something to cheer you up. How about that, hmm? Of course I did. If I make you a promise, I will always keep it. Thank you, Auntie Ningguang. Thank you so much. It was just a small favor, really. Nothing to get overexcited about. But, but they said you'd too busy to remember about a boring old calm. They. Uh oh. It's all right. Don't worry. There just seems to be some kind of misunderstanding here. Why don't you take this opportunity to clear it up? Don't you think that'd be best? Ming Wong's not gonna blame you. I'm sorry. I I I told you a lie. That thing about the luminescent spines wasn't something I heard. Um two people came and told me to say it to you. I told them I didn't want to lie to Auntie Ming Wong. 
They told me you'd forgotten all about the comb, and I, I didn't know how to argue with them. Then they bought me a new comb, and, and I... I'm sorry, I'll give them the comb back right away. No comb is better than the one you helped get fixed for me. I know how much it means to you. It was a gift from your mom before she left Liyua Harbor, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I'll be extra careful with it from now on. When mom gets back, she'll be so sad if she finds out I broke it. I must say, this is most intriguing. How about this? You tell me where those two people are, and I'll take the comb back to them for you. Sound good? Okay. Um... They're over at the docks. They said I should go and meet them when I finished the mission. All right, then. Don't worry, it'll all be fine. I'll be right back. Are you gonna go punish the bad guys? Now, now. This is a grown-up situation, okay? It's not fun and games anymore. And don't try and follow me. I'm just going to have a polite discussion with those two grown-ups about what they're allowed to do and what they're not allowed to do. Kids gonna fluff her lines? Also, let's be honest, this is a new low for us. Ah, <sighs> yes, I know. But we didn't have any other options. Psst, try not to overthink it, okay? Nanan's one of Ningguang's most trusted informants. Ningguang adores that kid. She's not gonna get all suspicious just because her story doesn't quite add up. It sounds like you underestimated me, and the children as well. Lady Ningguang? You knew how important that comb was to Nan Nan, and you exploited that fact to emotionally manipulate her. You coached a child to lie, made her betray her own innocence and confuse her conscience. Do you not realize how contemptible that is? I... Uh... Sorry, Lady Ningguang. We... We never should have crossed you like this. That's not the point. Business is business. And at some point, we're all trying to get the better of one another. So if all you'd done is fool me by feeding me false information, I'd make a loss, and that would be the end of it. But you cannot put Mora above all else. You cannot go exploiting children for profit. Do you have any idea just how much damage that will cause? It was hardly our first choice either. We were only acting out of necessity. We've been business partners for years now. We've gotten by, I guess, but never had any opportunities to expand. When we heard about the movement in the luminescent spy market, we thought to heck with it. Let's go all in on this one, see if we don't get lucky for once. So we stocked up a huge stash of luminescent spines and watched as the price went up and up. We thought this was gonna be it. We were gonna make our fortune. 
But we waited and waited, and, th and this mystery merchant from Fontaine never came. And more and more people started to suspect it was all a huge scam. Suddenly, everyone with luminescent spines was running for the exit, selling as fast as they could. But, but we had so much inventory that no one was willing to buy it. Oh, yeah. As soon as Lady Ningguang makes a move, everyone follows her lead. And the price takes a steep hike. If we don't sell the goods, we're both bankrupt. We're in debt to our eyeballs. We just didn't have any other choices. To be brutally honest, we took out a loan and made a speculative investment is not a sob story. But not everyone has the capability to make rational decisions. Greed, a lust for wealth, and impatience can all cloud your judgment. Do you now realize how dire the consequences of wild speculation can be? A hundred percent. We've both barely slept in days. We begged people to take our stock off our hands. They laughed at us, called us idiots, thought it was all hilarious. We messed up. Completely and catastrophically messed up. The savings we worked so hard our whole lives to build up, decimated, just like that. All we want now is a chance to start over. Hmm. Well, I can take your luminescent spines off your hands, but we will need a detailed contract. The portion of what I pay that exceeds the average price of luminescent spines in the past you will have to pay back to me, by some means in our future business dealings. Huh? But... but that means our profit is zero. Then you're free to find another willing buyer. But, if you're seriously still insisting on turning a profit under these circumstances, I'm afraid you're beyond redemption. Lady Ningguang is right. Let's swap the goods for cash and use it to pay off our debts and be done with it. This is a lifeline and we should be grateful for it. Forget about making money. Yes. Yes, you're right. I have no particular need for luminescent spines. But I'm quite sure I can uncover a market for it with a little research. Okay, so, um... Shall we get this deal done now, or...? No need to hurry. Our deal is hardly the urgent matter here. Atoning for your transgressions is the main order of business. You took advantage of a child. And you are coming with me to make a full and unreserved apology. This is an opportunity for you to show remorse. Oh, okay. Come on, let's go back and see the children. We're back. Everything's all sorted. Huh? Oh! It's those two! I'm sorry, Nan Nan. I was lying to you when I told you that Lady Ningguang wouldn't fix your comb. 
I was completely in the wrong, and I promise I'll never do anything like this again. Can you find it in your heart to forgive me? Mm. What do you think, Auntie Mingguang? I think it should be your choice, and yours alone. It's all sorted out now, and nothing super bad happened. I guess it's okay. But we can't just let them off. We gotta show them you don't mess with us. That's true. I'd certainly hate to see anyone else try to con you. I've made up my mind. <laughs> I want them to come play with us. Uh, what? Yeah! Now we have someone to play hide and seek with. Great idea. Let's go play hide and seek at the North Wharf. W wait a second. Nope! No waiting! Come on! <laughs> so full of energy. Yes, of course. I wouldn't feel comfortable leaving them alone with those two buffoons. Let me guess what you're thinking. You're thinking that there's not a huge difference between me turning these children into my informants and the actions of those two businessmen. Am I right? They were completely different when I first met them. They'd run away as soon as they saw me, or they'd be shaking with nerves and unable to speak. But gradually, they stopped seeing me as someone to be afraid of, and started seeing me as someone they can trust. For my part, I did my utmost to fulfill the duties of a responsible adult. I played games with them, but I also taught them observation skills, analytical skills, how to think critically. I never taught business, though. Now, they're much further ahead in their studies, and far more mature than their peers. This has given them confidence in themselves. I think that this is beneficial to them. <laughs> yes, perhaps I am. I never had the chance to receive a good education as a child. That's why I hope to teach these children myself. Hopefully, I can pass on some of what I've learned. Someday, they may realize that not everything is a win-win deal, that deception and one-upmanship are facts of life. But there's nothing wrong with that. When that happens, they will be ready to face the world head-on and become exceptional businessmen and women. But until then, I am here to protect them. 
I will one day die, new Qixing will replace the old, and Liyue will continue to prosper. I hope the name Ningguang will live on, but not as a person, as more of a symbol. If I can pass on everything I have learned, I can create a legacy that will live on long after I am gone. Come on, Auntie Ningguang! Hurry up! We're not gonna wait forever! Coming! Come on, let's enjoy this while we can.